Hey mm -hmm. guys, it's Maddie, and I'm here doing another <sighs> video today because I feel like it. I just got to text my mom again. Thanks, mom. Anyways, this is my second video today because I'm doing two videos in a row today because I'm making up for lost time. Um, I'm making up for lost time of me not uploading at all. So anyways, I feel like starting a new series where hopefully Jade will get this. Yeah. We'll get this and she'll be like, yeah, I'm going to do this too. <laughs> and I'm getting a bunch of texts. Thanks, Mom. And so I'm going to be doing a thing where I'm telling a story of ex an experience of mine. So this episode is going to be my first concert. Well, actually, my legit first concert was the Doodle Bops, as I explained in the earlier video. That was up about an hour ago or so. And <laughs> I'm bad at math. And but my first real, real concert with like a real with a real. With a real celebrity or singer or artist or band or whatever, it's actually an artist. It was um, the Demi Lovato concert last October, which was like October something. I actually have something on my phone that I have the video still on my phone because I'm lazy. I'm too lazy to convert them to my computer. Computer. Jada said she's watching my old video. Ha! <laughs> my video from earlier. It was October fifteenth, two thousand and fourteen. Um, so I'm going to talk about my experience at that. So the concert was at the KFCM Center in Louisville, Kentucky, because that's where I was at the time. And my mom, me and my friends back at school, we kind of created a Demi Lovato fan type thing, fan club thing. Sounds kind of kiddish, which it is, but we loved her, so, like we were so obsessed with her. I mean, I've gotten over my face of Demi Lovato. Right now, and I've moved on to like five seconds of summer and all time low. I was gonna show you my bracelet, but no, <laughs> it didn't work. But we created this Demi Lovato thing, and everyone wanted to be in it. And my mom, on the last day of school that year, she gave me a thing. She's like, Maddie, congratulations, you're gonna see Demi Lovato October 15th, second row. And she gave me the row, and now she's like, now you owe me $50 or however much the tickets were. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was that. So it was at the KFCM Center, and I have many pictures, but I'm not going to edit them in. That'll be like a separate video, probably. I'll just have it all edited together, like my Demi Lovato concert experience. But I'm going to look through my phone and see if I can get some. Um, my seats without Zoom were these. Hold on. Were these seats right there. So that's how far I was from the stage. So it was my seats and this was it with Zoom. So this is as far as I can get it. Uh, the recording. And so their first, they had three, she had three opening acts. I'm saying it they. Uh, their first opening act was um, MKTO. Don't tell us how, tell us how to live our lives. Anyways, that was my sort of video. That's um why this was up first. Why that was up first. And so it was MKTO, and then, I th don't remember quite, and then quite who was next, but I think it was B. Miller who sang, like, four songs because she didn't have as many out. I don't think she has that many out either. She either has a lot out or I just, and I just haven't heard them, probably that. But she was really good. She's really good live. And so then it was MKO, MK, MKTO, then B. Miller, and then it was Christina Perry, which she was really good live too. So it was MKTO. Everybody was good live. And I have, I don't think I have that many Christina Perry videos. I don't have any B. Miller ones, but I have MKTO because I first mentioned it to my mom because of MKTO. And because they were a good 
my one of my favorite bands at the time. So I mentioned something to her about it. And my next or no, the next one was this dude. I forgot what his name was. He's like no legs or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> had to make sure scenery went away. Um, yeah. So after that, there was a little intermission. We got to go to the bathroom and stuff. After that long time, long, long period of time. He, uh, the dude, he gave a motivational speech. and Yeah, and then Demi Lovato came on. She sang Really Don't Care. Um, that was her opening song. And, yeah, and her ending song was like, I think Neon Lights, I believe. And since it was around Halloween time, it was October 15th, she sang Thriller, which I thought was neat. She's like, I told you I loved Halloween, because at the beginning of the show she mentioned that she really liked Halloween. My hair. She mentioned that she really loved Halloween, and so she ended up singing Thriller a couple days from Halloween, 16 days, I believe. I'm not that smart. And I want to tell you my ex experience between like, there. So before, actually, before we went to the Demi concert the K at the KFCM Center, we went to eat at the Spaghetti Factory, and we got fat because there was some we ate something so fattening, and it just was great. But it was actually just me and my mom because that's all we got tickets for, and no one else wanted to go. And so my mom took me because I'm a loner. So we went to the Spaghetti Factory first, and then we went to the Convention Center. Um, we went to the Convention Center to hang out because we were a little early after eating at the Spaghetti Factory. So we were a little early, so we ended up waiting out at the Convention Center and doing random things. And then we headed to the thing, and then they all performed. Actually, I got a shirt, and I actually don't know where that shirt is. I got a shirt from there. And that shirt is somewhere around here. <laughs> Not here, probably at my mom's house. And so we went there. And then in between, there's like this girl behind me. Like there's this, I have the video, which I'm going to upload probably some other time. I have this video of this girl. She's singing behind me. She's like five years old. And she was like singing behind me. And she only stayed awake for the... She fell asleep. First of all, she fell asleep during MKTO and B. Miller. And then she woke up for Christina Perry because they were, like, big Christina Perry fans. They had, like, shirts and VIP passes. And Christina Perry painted all over the face. It was hilarious, I thought. And then she started singing behind me. She, like... I don't want to be rude to her, but she had, like, the weakest voice. Like, her voice would, like, go, like, high and try to sing with Demi's and it just crack and fall apart. It was kind of annoying. And then there was these people in front of us who just, like, came in, in, like, halfway in the middle of the show. And we're standing there. Like, in front of me. I'm like, I'm short. I'm only 5'1". Jeez, people. And it was so bad. They were, like, so tall. I had to, like, stand up. And at the time, I did have vision problems. So I couldn't really see the stage probably as well as I should have been able to. And... I did not have my glasses because I didn't get my glasses until about a month ago. And so I couldn't see the stage. And it was it was bad experience, but a good experience because I got to see Demi Lovato, who was like one of my idols. And But the vision, my vision, it's all my fault. My vision, I ruined it probably by staring at my phone. My vision sucks. But yeah, that was my experience. I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, and yeah, give me suggestions for other videos down in the comments below, and Jade is going to be making a video tomorrow for you, and yeah, enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, bye.